Dr. Olgin's groundbreaking study aims to find clues behind America's number one killer, heart disease, by collecting data from a million people, all in real time. Well, this is about taking data, turning it into useful information that a patient can then look at it and say, maybe something's wrong. Here's how the study works. Sensors worn on the body transmit a person's vital signs to their smartphone, which sends it to the cloud. When combined with the vital signs of those million participants, the mountain of data is then scrutinized by computers, searching for telltale traces of early disease. The hope is to uncover hidden patterns and alert both the physician and the patient. Heidi Dose was one of the first to join the study. The lifelong athlete learned she had an irregular heartbeat when she was 18. As a heart patient, there is a big fear once you've had a procedure, you've had something done of, okay, what's going to explode? Am I going to hurt myself? What can I or can't I do before I am in danger? Seven pacemakers and a life's worth of anxiety later, Dose found some peace of mind in the shape of a small heart monitor she wears on her wrist. There was a point where I couldn't even go upstairs without being out of breath. Getting from there to where I am today wouldn't have been possible without these tools. By seizing control of her health and tracking it digitally, DOS has become part of a movement, one that's growing rapidly. From toasters to turbines, almost anything that uses electricity can now speak to us and each other. Autonomous driving. Witness the rise of the machines. Premiere September 18th, 9 Eastern. CNBC at night is CNBC Prime.